It just so happens that many of the people that I spend time with are of the engineering sort. I have a hobby of uh, extended extreme long range shooting. Another hobby is philosophy. And between those two things, uh, those groups of people, many of them have a fallacy that they frequently commit called the argument by gibberish. And it's also called argument by jargon. And this is when someone uses a long string of big words with great confidence and then says, therefore, what I originally said was true. So if I was going to talk about long-range shooting, for example, I could say that you just, you plain old can't shoot if there's a wind blowing. It's just a, a sport you can't do then. It's kind of like spray painting outside in a wind. You just, you can't get it done. Um, so when I have my uh, 357 millimeter Glock Magnum shotgun long range rifle with a mill reticule scope uh, that I use the mills, uh, I measure them by MOA. And I do that because the propellant inside the cartridge is needed because of the primer. And I talk like that. So, so of course you can't shoot if there's a wind blowing. Well, all of those little things that I tossed in, if you're familiar with this area of expertise, you know that I was full of it. If you're not, though, well, it kind of sounds like this guy knows what he's talking about, so I'm going to go for it. Don't fall for that. If a person repeatedly uses technical jargon that you can't understand, you know that they are not good at communicating, because part of communicating is getting a point across. And if they are speaking to someone who doesn't understand their jargon, and they're not smart enough or uh, observant enough to recognize that and change their words if they don't have a large enough vocabulary to use words that their audience can understand, yeah, that's their problem. I, I would disengage with that person. Uh, it simply takes too much time and effort to go through the gibberish that I just did. That would take hours to really deeply get an understanding of why what I said was ridiculous. And we don't have time for that all the time. Don't fall for the uh, argument by gibberish. <laughs>